Turning out of breaking news in Northwest Miami-Dade where two 12-year-olds were shot today. And this all happened while they were simply waiting for a school bus. Let's get right out to Local 10 News reporter Annalise Garcia. She's live on the scene with the breaking details. Annalise. Christy, Janice, sources close to the investigation tell us these two 12-year-old victims are students at Madison Elementary, uh, I'm sorry, Madison Middle School, and the 16-year-old suspect is now in custody. That's what we're asking ourselves, and that's what we got to be enraged as a community. Why is a 16-year-old shooting at 12-year-olds? Two 12-year-olds waiting at a bus stop to go to school just before 8 a.m. near Northwest 109th Street and 10th Avenue. Miami-Dade police tells us a 16-year-old approached them on foot and demanded their cell phones. When they said no, he started shooting. These are two juveniles, two 12-year-olds. Could be our children that are just going to school. That is the last thing that any parent has in their mind, that their 12-year-olds that are waiting to go to school are going to get shot at. Police say the two juveniles were struck multiple times. Miami-Dade Fire Rescue transported them to the hospital as trauma alerts. I was ready so, so to drop off my kids to school. Then I was sitting right on my car. Then I had the gunshot. This neighbor lives close to where the shots were fired. Right here at the corner, they usually have um, the bus stop, so, so the bus can pick them up. It, it was um, on two boys. He tells us he saw two boys who had just been shot on the ground begging for help. I just saw a kid shot in the leg. He said, I saw I'm so in pain, I can't hold it no more. Miami-Dade police set up a large perimeter to search for the suspect who fled from the scene of the crime on foot. Detectives say he went through multiple backyards in the neighborhood. A source tells us at one point he was hiding in a shed. Our cameras rolling the moments the teenager was taken into custody in handcuffs. The father too, like I said, I mean, I just can't even believe he would get himself mixed up in something at such a young age. Now, detectives tell us that they have recovered at least two firearms that belonged to the suspect on the scene. Again, these two victims apparently are students at Madison Middle School, and they are right now in the hospital recovering. Fortunately, they are in stable condition. I'm live in Northwest Miami-Dade. Annalise Garcia, Local 10 News.